Hello and welcome to week 13 in biopsychology here and we enter chapter 12 psychopathology and the areas that I'm focusing on uh, in our discussion is comparing and contrasting the heritability versus situational factors that lead to the development of mental illness. Heritability, nature, situational factors, nurture. So the nature-nurture question of causality, the answer is usually always both, but looking at those particular components and discussing in your own experience with individuals that you may know who have struggled with mental health issues, sharing what you will about your own experiences, certainly no requirement for that, but the idea that part of it's inherited and some of it is situational. Now, the assignment is really more about stress management and avoiding some of those issues. So, what I've just, how I've decided to approach this particular assignment, because it's really in the course book, it's written for a live class, to tell you the truth. So, what we're going to do this week is I have posted an additional discussion board, an ungraded discussion board, in the same section where you see course questions. So you go to the top, you go to go to where the you go to assessments, go to discussions, and the first set of discussions are the the you know the um, the course lounge and the course questions, and I've added a third one, and that's chapter twelve stress management ideas, where I want you to share as much as you want. It's ungraded. Just throw out there all the things that you do or you know you could do that contribute to uh, lowering your stress. It might be taking walks in the woods, or playing with your dog, it might be reading, it might be music, it might be, you know, whatever it is, activities, not sleeping. All these activities that you would do that would actually reduce stress. We're gonna do that for this week. Then next week, I'm going to have you right from this, so you know ahead of time, at the beginning of next week, starting next Monday, you are going to select one, two, or three of these activities to do through the whole week on a regular basis. You are going to take a assessment of your stress at the beginning of the week and assessment of your stress at the end of the week, and you are going to find out through a little experiment on your own behavior whether or not those methodologies actually lowered your stress. Simple as that. You're performing an experiment on yourself as to the efficacy, the utility, the degree to which any one of these relaxation techniques or stress management techniques contribute to your lowering of your stress. It's a great time to do this. We're approaching the end of the semester. Lots of things are coming due. I'm sure you have many classes that have papers and assignments and, and um, a final exams even or, or exams uh, that are coming up. And uh, it's a good time to get into a regular practice of stress management. So that's what we have for this week. We have the discussion this week on the heritability and situational factors associated with mental illness mental disorders, mental problems. Then we have the assignment. First part this week is coming up, brainstorming those ideas. Second part is next week. We're going to continue, even though we're moving on to chapter 13, we're going to continue with chapter 12. And for that week, you are going to implement one, two, or three of those on a regular basis and measure the effect change. And you're going to be reporting out on that based on the rubric that's in the course book. So that's this week. Have a great week. Hope you got to see the eclipse. It was amazing. I went up to Greenville to do it, saw the total eclipse. It was very cool. Got to share that with, I got to share that with my uh, granddaughter and that was very cool. And the weather's really nice. Looks like we've made that turn, get rid of the rest of the rest of that white stuff and uh, start to enjoy the end of our semester here. So be well.
Take care, and I will see you next time.